breathtaking aerial footage featuring the latest technology in drone engineering, the Supercopter 4K drone is built to be the perfect companion on your outdoor adventures. Using high-end flight performance and functionality for limitless exploration. Step into a world of top-secret military tech with Supercopter. This isn't just a drone, it's a doorway to amazing possibilities. All without breaking the bank. Thanks to our SuperDrive technology, you'll capture life's moments in breathtaking 4K quality HD. And with unmatched stability and foolproof controls, even rookies can fly like seasoned pros. But the magic doesn't end there. Supercopter's got your back with an anti-collision system that keeps accidents at bay. Built tough from military-grade materials, it can take a beating and keep on soaring. This is the drone of the future. Hello and welcome. My name is George Schlackeck and this is The One. Christmas is the one time of the year when many of us spend money on new gear, whether it's for ourselves or a loved one. Supercopter is made up, so don't bother trying to find it online. But the text spoken here is pretty much all taken from an actual ad for a $99 drone. There are several infomercials circulating online about this kind of drone claiming to offer an advanced high-tech drone for a very low price. Supposedly, major drone manufacturers have cheapened down their products, leaving this drone as the best choice for all drone enthusiasts, regardless of whether they're beginners or seasoned pros. The drone is shown several times in those ads and resembles an early DJI Mavic Pro. The ad also implies that the founder of this new drone company, we'll call him Bob, used to work for a major drone manufacturer. Supposedly DJI if you believe the footage shown, but couldn't continue to do so in good conscience because his bosses forced him to use cheaper and cheaper materials to make the drones, leaving the company with ridiculously high profit margins. Bob and a co-worker were disgusted and decided to quit. They then started their own drone company and after months of research and hundreds of prototypes, they came up with this amazing drone for only 99 bucks, making the most advanced technology available to anyone. What if I told you that there is a $99 drone on the market that the government doesn't want you to know about? It is made from military-grade materials and can capture amazing 4K footage for a low price of just $99? Wow! The developers of this top-secret technology that the rest of the drone industry is trying to get banned worked for a major drone manufacturer. But they quit because this company was just too greedy, constantly increasing their prices while using cheaper materials, leaving them with super high profits. If you're watching YouTube and you're into drones, you've probably seen commercials like this. Many of you will already be aware that they're a bunch of BS. The drones that are sold like that are cheap toys. They'll be very difficult to control even indoors. Take them outside and the slightest wind gust will take them away, especially if you're a beginner. A few years ago, I got fooled by one of those ads myself, once. I had just lost my first drone in a flyaway and wanted another one without breaking the bank. This ad promised exactly that. At the time, I did not trust myself with a DJI drone that would have cost hundreds of dollars more. But this drone looked exactly like a DJI drone in the pictures, and it was offered by a Canadian drone company called Bigley Brothers or something like that. The price seemed right, so I ordered one. I was expecting a drone that was bigger than a DJI Mini 2, but cost less simply because it wasn't DJI, the company that was gouging everyone. At the time I had very little knowledge about drones and most of that came from a variety of ads. Even some YouTubers that were reviewing budget drones made them look pretty good. 
How can you distinguish the crap from the real drones as a total beginner who doesn't have a circle of friends who fly drones? Advertising used to have boundaries and there were once serious consequences for companies if they decided to make false claims. Today, it seems like all that has gone out the window. I don't think cheap toy drones should be illegal and to the best of my knowledge, no one is trying to do that. But I can totally understand why someone would want to ban those ads. They promise a quality product at a bargain price and unfortunately, it's too good to be true. My Bigly Brothers drone was ordered through a third-party Walmart seller. It took a month or so to arrive at our local store, and when it finally did, it was just a toy, weighing barely over 100 grams. It did come with an app, supposedly an HD camera, no gimbal and no GPS. Those drones are still being sold, which is fine, but it's not okay to pretend they're military grade or even close to the quality of a DJI drone. They're also not worth 99 bucks. The ads are bullshit, and they prey on people who are curious about flying drones but have no prior experience. When I received that drone, I never even tried to fly it. Having flown a bigger holy stone only a few times before, I knew this wasn't going to work for me, just by looking at it. I sent it right back and after a couple of weeks or so, got my money back. Possibly thanks to the drone having been sold through Walmart, not the asshole sellers directly. But how many people order these things, try to fly them, crash them, because they simply get taken away by the slightest gust? Once you've crashed it, you wasted your hundred bucks. That's when you know you've been taken. But what can you do at that point? Reality is not very much. But here is something you can do before you ever purchase your drone. If you're in Canada, Transport Canada has a list of drones that are approved for advanced operations. You can access this list. Now, if your drone is anywhere near military grade or whatever they claim it is, then it should be included on this list. Now, if you're in the United States, the FAA may also have a resource that I'm not aware of, but I don't see why you couldn't go to Transport Canada's site if you don't find it. For your convenience, I've left a link in the description. Well, I believe that fraudulent advertisers should be held accountable for their BS. I kind of regret not having made a video right away about this little drone because it could have shed some light on the discrepancy between what the company claims they are and what's really in the package. But I didn't have the confidence to do that at the time. It's just a hundred bucks, so most people might shrug it off and move on. But you tell me, is false advertising acceptable? Is it harmless and should we just put up with it? Or is it fraudulent and the predators should stand trial? <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing is done. We have the Drone Pilot Association of Canada, and I am a member, but I'm not sure if this kind of stuff is even on their radar yet. That's part of why I'm making this video, besides warning you and your drone-curious friends about this ripoff. Scammers are everywhere, and unless we fight back, it's only a matter of time before we get screwed ourselves, whether it's on a drone or something else. Don't get me wrong, I don't believe that DJI is perfect, but the drones they sell function well and do what they promise. There's no way anyone can offer something even close for just $99. It's bullshit, plain and simple. The link in the description is for your info only. Click on it to see with your own eyes what I'm talking about. But don't send those predators any money. They are misrepresenting their product and you can be pretty sure that all of those great reviews on that page are made up. If you want a decent drone, check the affiliate links from Amazon below. Those drones are worth every penny and you can order them with confidence. 
If you want to see a direct comparison between a budget drone and a DJI Mini 2, watch the video on the screen next. It'll be an eye-opener. But let me tell you, even this holy stone I'm demonstrating there is superior to this bullshit little toy you get when you fall for one of those hype ads. Happy flying guy and I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for subscribing and liking my video, as always.